Hey guys, look who's here. Drakey boy. He's been whining, so I have to bring him up here on my lap. What is happening guys? Archizel here and welcome to another video. Archies, I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Archies, today we're gonna go back to basics. If you don't know me, my name is Archizel on the internet, Staff Sergeant Massey in the Real Army, and Ariana, come over here. Ileana wants to be, oh, she doesn't want to be part of it? Okay, it's okay. What is happening guys? Archizel here and welcome to another video. Archies, I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Woo! Today is a special video. We're kicking it back old school, giving you guys informative stuff. For you before you ship to Army Basic Training, Army Combat Basic Training. Again, my name is Archizel on the internet. If you do not know me in real life, Staff Sergeant Masiba, U.S. Army Medic, active duty and temporary recruiter at the moment. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about what to bring to basic training and what to buy once you get over there. I know I made a video like this a few years ago, so this is more of an updated one. A lot of people still ask and you know, some of the older stuff are outdated, but I'm giving you a packing list of the stuff that I actually use to give to my recruits so they understand and have everything in detail. I'll be showing you screenshots here and there to know what you are going to bring. Okay, split screen right there. Okay, check it out. The following information will make your transition from civilian to army life easier. Listed below are required items along with items that will not be permitted. Ask your recruiter for more detailed list. Okay, this is just what I use. And if you want to adapt and use this format that I do, go ahead and use it. But always ask your recruiter or someone who's like, preparing you for your packing list and all of that stuff. Okay, so for clothing, one day supply of casual, comfortable clothing. No halter tops or ragged shorts. A lot of you guys will probably get informed like don't wear any plain white shirts or plain black shirts because it's gonna signify that you're part of a group, a gang or stuff like that. Obviously nothing explicit, nothing racial, sexual or nothing political because you are gonna be part of the United States Army, part of the US military and you're a soldier. You can't just do that like that because that's a no-go. You don't really have to bring one day of supply, you can buy an extra one, you know, because you're gonna be traveling, you're gonna be in the MEPS hotel, you're gonna be in the bus, but once you go to reception, that's when you drop off everything. So make sure you have enough. Tasteful clothing, you know, the regular. If you have Vans, that's fine. If you have running shoes, you like wearing that's comfortable, that's fine. Jeans without any holes or any rips because that's pretty much what everyone wears now. So just regular jeans, regular shirt, polo, that works out. Three sets of underwear, white, just to make sure. I mean, it doesn't really have to be white if it's the regular brownie tidies or like regular boxer shorts, that is fine. No thong, please don't do that. One pair of white calf length athletic socks. No color bands, design, or logos. Additional socks will be purchased at the PX once you go over there. It's just to play it safe. You can wear black, you can wear white crew socks. Do not wear low super low socks the no show socks but at least ankle socks you know because as long as it's plain white as long as it's plain black according to standards as of the moment you can use them so i would highly suggest if you have those and you don't want to carry too much items you know might as well use the socks that you have you know because it works plain black or plain white calf high is better as long as it's not a no show because you have to actually have to see it when you're wearing your tennis shoes your running shoes a pair of comfortable shoes tennis shoes vans Converse that works out you're gonna change out anyway eyeglasses so if you wear you know corrective lenses make sure you bring those I'm pretty sure you got notified already by a recruiter but if you wear glasses reading glasses prescription contact lenses just bring it you know just bring it you're still gonna go through medical again so just bring it luggage should be limited to one small suitcase or gym bag honestly the regular army backpack that they give you at MEPS pack light you know because you're gonna be putting all of these stuff away and once you're in the military you gotta learn how to pack light and pack right because you don't want to over bring a lot of stuff I've seen a lot of people once they're in the actual army and they have a packing list to go to the field they have too much crap that it takes up the space in the FLA takes space in their vehicle and it's just not gonna end up being used and again you're going to basic training just enough for you to wear for the past two or three days bring extra underwear bring extra socks and all of that okay this is really important lock I put a one lock combination or padlock with two keys additional locks will be purchased at the PX it will be okay to buy the lock and the key or whatever locking mechanism you have at the PX but you got to think about this a lot of people forget to buy locks and bring locks and be part of their packing list so if you go to the PX at the basic training site at the reception and there's no more locks because it's not just gonna be you there's gonna be a lot of people then you're kind of in trouble you know what I mean so be ready bring two sets of locks I'd say two sets of locks one for your locker 
in just in case your bag needs to get locked up you know just bring an extra it doesn't hurt you know if you end up not using it you can use it later on once you get to your first unit and all of that this one's really important toiletries one washcloth a towel additional items will be purchased at the px again just bring one one towel or maybe two because once you're in the hotel and you're traveling you can just use the toiletries over there you don't have to use your own because you have to dry it you can't refold it if it's wet and it's just gonna stink in your bag you know so utilize whatever they have at the hotel and just use your actual towels once you know that's the only one that you can use disposable safety razor with one pack of blades this changes a lot but at least i would bring one again i am fortunate enough not to have too much facial hair all over my face so it's a lot easier for me but i know a lot of people that have like everything pretty much like all grown so it's gonna be hard for them to shave talk to your actual recruiter at the moment to clarify that but i've never had any issues just one pack of blades maybe a three pack just enough and you'll purchase actual ones at the px again you'll have time to purchase everything over there but you got to be ready to at least have some because once it's out of stock it's out of stock and you're you're gonna end up borrowing something from your battle buddy or your warrior companion shaving cream optional for women one small travel size they sell that at the dollar section in any stores walmart target dollar tree or whatever go buy it over there antiperspirant you know do you gotta wear deodorant or at least something because you don't want to be stinking up the whole barracks you don't want to stink up the whole bay and you just don't want to be nasty so make sure you have deodorant toothbrush with case obviously i think it's fine if it's like powered with battery and all that stuff i think in the plane it would be okay but toothbrush is toothbrush you gotta brush at least twice a day three times a day so toothbrush and toothpaste travel kit that goes together regardless like what i said toothpaste dental floss shampoo a travel size as a dude if you're really trying to be like stingy and just like on the go since your hair is gonna be cut anyway shaved just use your body soap use your body soap for your hair you know you don't need to have like too much shampoo and stuff like that hey guys look who's here drakey boy he's been whining so i have to bring him up here on my lap so next on my packing list hairbrush if you're a female obviously hairbrush soap a regular dial soap bar soap works for me along with the case that's worked for me everywhere i go even when i go to the field or those little travel ones works also johnson and johnson's is a good brand because it's super tiny it's not going to cause any allergies or anything like that and it's just perfect on to go this one is really important money i think i put ten dollars but no more than fifty dollars in cash because you have to have money with you at all times you have to have your social security card also you have to have your picture id you have state id okay you have to have at least one active debit card just in case you know you need money and obviously the cash cash is power atm machines might go down so if the card doesn't work how are you going to purchase something let's say you get hungry let's say you really need to buy something but you don't have anything cash will always be there and you can buy something just in case you need it it's pretty good to always carry some cash all the time if you want to bring checks or money orders that's also okay but it's kind of like a pain because who uses paper checks nowadays okay but it's okay to bring them as a soldier as a basic training soldier in the army you are gonna be given an eagle cash card i forgot the actual limit but i put on my old packing list here like 350 i think it's 250 so this is a prepaid card that's going to be taken from your first paycheck to purchase stuff at the px let's say you forgot toothpaste or you forgot like some socks so it's the money that will be taken out from your first paycheck to purchase it and you don't have to max it out you don't have to use it if you don't want to use it it's just a just in case thing okay for females additional items women might need or not to bring obviously under garments uh, panties bras cotton recommended plain and simple no thongs or anything crazy like that so just regular appropriate hairstyle some people will still go to their basic training sites with you know mustache and beard and all that but just be prepared because once you get there i know you really have that super long hair or super long beard or dreads or something like that just have it a little bit ready you know because you won't have time to really tidy yourself up and again i'm fortunate not to have that much facial hair but i kind of wish that i do have like long facial hair because i want to look badass when i get out eventually and drake what's wrong he saw someone outside it's just easier it's just manageable you know what i mean so you're gonna end up losing it anyway but you can keep it as long as you can and just have it shaved off over there i mean what's gonna happen you know clothing and jewelry i suggest bring a watch this is an apple watch but i suggest buying those basic digital watch for running and to tell time and it's all digital it's just a lot easier you can set up the alarm if you need to wake up a little bit early and all of that and it's 
it's tough, it's durable. You know, a G-Shock or something like that. It doesn't have to be G-Shock, Casio works out. Jewelry, you know, you don't really have to bring them, but if you do, make sure do not lose them. And it's not really advisable because you can get them again once you graduate from basic training and all of that. Other than that, stay motivated, stay calm. Everything is gonna be fine. You will get issued all your uniforms, all your stuff. And if there's some stuff that you brought, like laptops, phones, and all of that, they're just gonna lock it up and you're gonna get it back again once you graduate basic combat training for the army. So you will see them again, I guarantee. Last but not the least, I always tell this to all my recruits, basic training, regardless what branch, is just a small speck of your military career, regardless if you're part-time or full-time. It doesn't matter if you have the longest basic training, it doesn't matter if you have the shortest basic training, everyone goes through it. It's kind of like the first day of class or school. You will remember it wherever you go, even if you're super old but it's just a super small, tiny speck of your military career. So don't be scared, stay motivated, learn the foundations, you know, learn what right looks like. So once you're in that rank, higher rank, and you see all these brand new kids coming in that's gonna replace you, you teach them the right way, like how you learned it in basic training, okay? That's it for today. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to get notified whenever we upload brand new videos. And that's it for today. Let me know what you wanna see next in the following videos or chisel out.